Hey players, welcome back to KT Gaming, your go-to channel for everything gaming and tech. In today's video, I'm diving deep into some incredible news and rumors surrounding Warner Bros. games and the renewed focus on the Batman franchise. Could Rocksteady Studios be taking the lead on not just one, but two new Batman projects? I'll discuss what's been happening with the Batman universe, Rocksteady's current projects, and what fans might expect in the near future. So without further ado, let me dive right into it. Alright, let's start with Warner Bros. games and their focus on the Batman franchise. For over a decade, the Arkham series has been one of the most influential superhero game series of all time. From Batman Arkham Asylum, to Batman Arkham City, and even Batman Arkham Knight, these games set a high bar for action-adventure titles, making Batman a cornerstone of the Warner Bros. gaming lineup. Recently, we've seen a resurgence of interest in the Batman franchise. Warner Bros. Games seems to be doubling down on this iconic character, capitalizing on the ongoing popularity of superhero games. With the success of the Arkham Trilogy on platforms like the Nintendo Switch and the launch of the VR title Batman Arkham Shadow, it's clear that the Dark Knight isn't going anywhere anytime soon. With Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League now in the rear view mirror, Rocksteady Studios seems poised to return to their roots. The game received a mixed reception with fans praising the combat but feeling divided over its live service elements and story. Now that the team has wrapped up the Suicide Squad project, industry insiders are buzzing with rumors that Rocksteady is pivoting back to the Batman universe. Many fans have been vocal about the desire for a new Batman game, and Rocksteady could be the perfect studio to bring the Cape Crusader back. The question is, what form will this new Batman game take? Now let me get into the juicy stuff. The rumors of not one, but two new Batman projects. The first potential project could be a return to Gotham, continuing the legacy of the Arkham series. Fans have been vocal about wanting another game that dives back into the dark and gritty streets of Gotham, exploring more of the city and its iconic villains. Imagine a new Arkham-style game that picks up where Arkham Knight left off, possibly exploring a new chapter with a different protagonist, or even a new story arc that focuses on the aftermath of Bruce Wayne's disappearance. This could be a game that ties up loose ends, giving fans closure while also opening the door to new storylines. Sources like IGN and Game Rant have hinted that Warner Bros. games might be leaning towards a narrative-driven experience, emphasizing the detective elements that made the Arkham series so popular. This could mean a deeper focus on the stealth mechanics, more intricate puzzles, and a storyline filled with unexpected twists and turns. The second rumored project could be something even more exciting, a Batman Beyond game. If you're unfamiliar, Batman Beyond is a futuristic take on the Batman mythos, featuring a new Batman, Terry McGinnis, mentored by an old Bruce Wayne. This storyline is beloved by fans and has been a popular request for a game adaptation for years. Imagine a sleek cyberpunk Gotham City filled with neon lights advanced technology, and new villains unlike anything we've seen before. Rocksteady could bring this vision to life with their signature art style and attention to detail we all know and love. This game would be a massive departure from the grounded, gritty Gotham we know, offering a fresh take and an opportunity to explore new gameplay mechanics. Reports from industry insiders suggest that Rocksteady has been experimenting with new game engines and graphic technologies, potentially hinting at a more futuristic setting. A Batman Beyond game would fit perfectly into this vision, offering something bold and innovative while still paying homage to the classic Batman lore. So I bet you're wondering why is Warner Bros. focusing on Batman again? The simple answer is fan demand. Despite the mixed reception of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, the Arkham games remain a high point in the superhero genre. The recent re-release of the Arkham trilogy on the Nintendo Switch has sparked new interest in the franchise introducing it to a whole new platform of players. Additionally, the release of Batman Arkham Shadow and MetaQuest headsets show that there's still a strong market for Batman games. The VR title gave players a chance to step into the shoes of the Dark Knight in a more immersive way, but fans are now looking for a full-fledged Batman experience on consoles and PC. If these rumors hold true, Rocksteady's return to the Batman universe could mark a new era for the studio. They've built a strong reputation with the Arkham series, and a new Batman game could be exactly what they need to bounce back after the mixed reactions to Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. 
whether it's a continuation of the Arkham series or a bold new take like Batman Beyond, there's a lot of potential here. For Warner Bros. games, doubling down on Batman projects could be a strategic move to solidify their place in the superhero game market. The Batman brand has consistently delivered strong sales and positive reviews, making it a safe bet for the company. Now players, let me know of your thoughts and opinions down below. What do you all think? Are you excited about the possibility of two new Batman projects from Rocksteady? Would you prefer a return to the classic Arkham style? Or are you hoping for something fresh like a Batman Beyond game? Let me know of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Now players, when it comes to me, I want to see a little bit of both. Maybe they can keep Batman Beyond in the Arkham universe because Batman did fake his death. But the way they set that up with the end of the game, it kind of looks like Batman is like, he faked his death. So he's using fear toxin and like he kind of had to do it because the Batman myth was like kind of like uh, trash because his identity got revealed by Scarecrow. So it can go either way. But I know fans are really looking forward to a, um, a new Batman Arkham and even a Batman Beyond game. Especially since they canceled the movie, like Warner Bros, they canceled like development or uh, like the project for the movie that they were going to make. And they were going to make it Spider-Verse style as well. So people really wanted to see that. And the fact that they canceled it, like it made fans, a lot of fans, including me, disappointed. Because who wouldn't want to see that, right? Batman Beyond in the Spider-Verse type uh, art form and like the way the world looks. Oh my god, that would be beautiful. But now if they bounce back with a Batman Beyond game and maybe even another Arkham game. Or if they just choose to do one or the other. It'll still be a W for the, for the fans of the franchise, that's for sure. And I would really enjoy it either way. But what do you players think? Let me know all of your thoughts down below. And as always, players, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more updates on all things Batman, Rocksteady, and Warner Bros, gaming, and tech. And players, I really appreciate all your support. New subscribers, old subscribers, your support helps the channel grow. And be sure to share this video with your fellow Batman fans, as it really makes a difference. Players, thank you all for watching, and until next time, peace out.